My name is Michael Lissart. Um, I've been a member of uh, Code St. Luke EMS for 13 years. EMS is an extra service on top of the Urgence Santé paramedic service that uh, responds to calls in the city of Code St. Luke uh, of a life-threatening or potentially life-threatening nature. We're trained to arrive on the scene, stabilize the situation, send out the information that we acquire from the patient and the patient's situation to the incoming ambulance and then assist uh, Urgence Santé, which is the incoming ambulance, to transport our patients to the hospital. Well, at, at EMS we have close to 100 volunteers that regularly cover our shifts, which are 24-7, 365 days a year. So a typical day at EMS comprises of checking in early, checking our equipment, whether we're a medic, checking all the medical equipment, or a medic driver, checking the truck, and making sure that everything's safe to go. Then we stand by for calls in the community, either while we're based at station or while we're driving around the community. We take calls on the radio and uh, respond as fast as we can. I grew up in uh, Notre Dame de Grasse, NDG. In fact, uh, bought a house with my wife on the same street I grew up on. So, although Cote St. Luke is a little west of my house, this whole area has been a part of my life and my kids' life. Brought up four kids and they're all part of this community. I wanted to contribute to my community and to to help elderly people. We owe them a lot in this country and the EMS seemed like a good way to do that. When I was younger, uh, living out west, I was part of the volunteer firefighting team in Pemberton and Whistler, British Columbia, and that got me really interested in emergency management, disaster planning. Well, in my quest to train as an emergency manager, I was told that one of the avenues into that field was through the medical emergency medical response uh, field. So I just made inquiries and was steered towards Cote St. Luke EMS as uh, being a very professional and well-respected organization and never looked back. After studying at uh, Harvard School of Public Health, hazmat intervention and how to treat large-scale emergencies, I ended up joining several emergency management organizations, getting up to speed on common practices and exercises to bring that to the community. I couldn't have been prepared for the changes in my life that EMS has brought. From my first CPR course, it changed the way I walked down the street. I now had the skills to intervene effectively, and the more better training I got, and the more elaborate training I got, the more useful I felt as a citizen. So it, it's improved my self-esteem. It's given me confidence uh, to interact on that level with people. I guess the most difficult, but I don't know if really, really people really want to hear what the most difficult stuff is. It's, it's you know, suicides and, uh, and attempted suicides and meeting with patients that are, you know, really working the opposite direction to what we're there for. They, you know, so those are the most difficult. Um, because I've had children, pediatric calls are less intimidating than for some who have never held a baby before. But for me, the uh, people in mental anguish are the most difficult calls for, you know, to deal with. There's a good, good group of people amongst us that I feel free to talk with and talk out, you know, s what has happened on a particular call. Uh, so I feel that there is a support system built in here. I had a wonderful call recently. I walked in on a mother who's holding her five-minute. Uh, old baby and uh, we took care of the mother, the father, the baby, the siblings and it was extremely gratifying. Everybody came out smiling from that call. You know as required we need a constant stream of new volunteers to keep the ranks full. Good candidates need to be physically fit and energized and social, interested in intervening in people's lives in a gracious and respectful way. But generally, people from all walks of life have an opportunity to develop this part of themselves, and I highly recommend giving it a try. The training is rigorous and very professionally presented. I think that people who are clear-headed and motivated 
to help others would find a lot of satisfaction in joining EMS. One thing I have to say is the people that I work with at EMS are some of the finest people I've ever known. Their care for patients and their great camaraderie uh, is just beyond words. I'm just so happy to be part of this community. Hopefully you can use that because I'd like them to know. Thank <laughs> you.